conspiracy and conspiracy theories. So let's just take an example. Um, you can have a theory that um, the uh, COVID-19 virus was leaked accidentally or even on purpose from the Wuhan virology lab. And what you need to do then is to investigate that theory, to send investigators, to um, get all the intelligence that you can get, and to make a determination. And at the end of the day, you may be able to conclude one way or the other, or you may come to the uh, you may come to the end of your investigation and say, I just don't know enough. It could be, it's possible, but I don't know enough based on the facts. Conspiracy theories are very different because conspiracy theories expand around the facts. They're unfalsifiable. So, for example, one conspiracy theory that I show that is promoted by, that is not more than promoted, it's... Uh, it's uh, become a sort of life work, if you will, by a professor of engineering at Northwestern University. Um, is uh, in his book, The Hoax of the 20th Century, with their butts. And he writes uh, that the Holocaust didn't happen, but he's confronted with facts. Facts like there are tens of thousands of documents uh, in spread throughout uh, Europe testifying essentially documenting that, testifying with documenting that a Holocaust happened, documenting the ways it was it was conducted. There's documents of the YC conference in 1942 where the final solution was put into place. Um, so, and there's lots of documents of, of, of witnesses, um, of perpetrators, of people in the Nuremberg trials who testified. So what he does is he expands the theory, and this is common in conspiracy theories, around any facts. So let's say, so he says that evil, conspiring, money cobble, a money cobble of Jews spread these documents all across Europe, forged documents to be discovered, and that people who uh, testified uh, to being part of the commission, that being part of committing the Holocaust of the murder of six million or so Jews, they were, in his words, bamboozled by Zionists to confessing to crimes against humanity. These are, were pure innocent Nazis who confessed to quiet crimes against humanity that it would have never occurred to them to, con, to, con, to, to actually conduct. Um, they were just bamboozled. So even though his reasoning is more than suspect, um, there is no fact that one can throw at Professor Butts that he won't expand his theory around. And that's common in a conspiracy theory. And once a theory is unfalsifiable, it really enters a different realm than should be in academia. But what I show in the book is there are lots of academics reporting theories that conspiracy theories that are disprovable, and that's frightening for society. You mentioned the Watsi Conference, and oh, we're actually coming up, I think it's the 80th anniversary in about a week, Jan 20th, I think, and where these Nazis met in this Berlin suburb and conspired to, you know, the, the formulation of this plan, this final solution. Uh, so I always say, you know, people talk about the Jewish conspiracy. You see, the Jews are the victim of one of the most heinous conspiracies of all time. Because I think of conspiracy oftentimes as a crime, as a heinous crime. Uh, and sometimes we're not able to piece together, you know, the uh, the moving parts and, and, and who was involved and what was the motive and so forth for sometimes decades. Um, but that's, that, anyway, that's the way I look at conspiracy often. It's a, it's a crime. Um, I want to ask you about the protocols of the elders of Zion because that's that stuff available on Amazon. That must drive you nuts. And and, and but I just want to say on the Wan C conference, the thing that people the, the thing that people should remember is that eight out of fourteen members, eight out of fourteen participants in that had doctorates. So being educated doesn't make you a nice person. And um, that's what's going on in academia today. 
And That's an interesting point, yeah. Re relying on educated people, relying on the protocols of the elders of Zion does drive me nuts because this was purposely written. And you're right about what you said, which is that people who start conspiracy theories with political motivations are really committing, you know, it is a, it is a criminal act because the idea was to incite people against, Jews, it, you know, and it's not just the Jews, by the way. I mean, if you look at uh, if you look at what happened in Rwanda, you know, where you had the Hutu power movement, uh, who who started uh, creating propaganda that led to the mass murders of Tutsis, and the it, the Turkish Committee for the Union on Progress incited hatred against Armenians, calling them in many ways similar terms to Jews, spies, vermin, infidels, a um, whole bunch of evil, evil terms. And they advocated the cleansing of Turkey by removal of these non-Turks, non um, non-Muslims by any means. So th this, this was, these conspiracy theories are generally started by people who know exactly what they're doing. Um, and it's not just on, and, and it's on all sides. I mean, the Soviet Union created conspiracy theories against, well, they created a whole bunch of conspiracy theories, but uh, and when it came to Zionism, they just made it up um, in, the, in the 50s. And they made up stuff which, by the way, were extraordinarily successful conspiracy theories. Um, because they wanted to undermine the, they wanted to undermine Israel and see if they could get it destroyed. And they said things that would come out of, that, that would come out of a modern anthropology department in many universities today. Um, they said things like the main points of modern Zionism are the militaristic, chauvinistic racism of Zionism, and they talk about the um, colonial settler nature of Zionism, and they, they could literally be found today um, in BDS and other boycotts, the best sanction, and other literature that you can find. So these conspiracy theories can be su extremely successful, even though from the archives, we know that they were purposely made up. The Soviet groups were purposely just seeing what they could do, and sadly, unfortunately, we know Russians are still, <laughs> some in Russian government um, circles are still making up conspiracy theories with the idea of undermining regimes, but we don't seem to learn. Can I just talk a little bit uh, more, or get you to talk a little bit more about the protocols of the elders of Zion? This, you know, this is kind of the, for, for these uh, conspiracy theorists. This is, you know, the smoking document proving that there is this worldwide Jewish conspiracy for worldwide domination. Where, where did it begin, and then how was it first uh, used? Well, that is a really good question because the Protocols of the Elders is I knew 100 percent right. It's become like a source document, and it was really first written in late Tsarist Russia, again as a noted hoax um, to incite people against, um, against Jews. And ironically, the Protocols of the Elders of Zion was, was adapted, a third of it, if, if you do an analysis, and this is, I'm not the first one to say this, a third of it was adapted from a French novel that was mocking Napoleon III. I mean, in a way, it's ridiculous, ridiculous that a that the that the the um, that it's such a bad a bad conspiracy theory. It's poorly executed. It comes directly from a fiction novel, and yet. It has been made into a source text. And again, the Soviets continued to um, base 
many books on it. Um, Yuri Ivanov's Beware Zionism. There, there were just updated versions of the protocols, protocols of the other Zion. And unfortunately, it's still a bestseller in parts of the world. It's extremely distressing. And time and time again, it's been shown to be bunk, shown to be based off of a fiction novel, and yet it, uh, it, 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 it was actually, there's a fellow by the name of David Icke who, who um, purports to say that um, uh, it's all true, and he's written another book, The Truth Will Set You Free, that's actually sold very well. So this book is not, this is not that, that, um, this is not that old. It was published actually in, um, in just 1919, I'm sorry, 1903. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's totally made up. And then Hitler, I guess, dusted it off and had it read to, was it, was it read, did I read this correctly, that it was read to, to, uh, school children in... Nazi Germany beginning in the 1930s. Oh yeah, and he he uh, had clearly read it um, and as part of Mein Kampf. So this was a source document, but sadly, it wasn't the first time there were these crazy conspiracy theories about Jews. The the the, the protocols of the Elder Zion. Even if you, and I don't advocate that anybody read it, but it, 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 it's so ridiculous that you would, should almost know you're reading a made-up novel, um, and which is what it is. And yet people don't do it because they're, to a certain degree, they've been pre-primed to hate Jews in many cultures. And so this seems like it's quite corroborating. And so I'm wondering if, that I, I'm not the first one to, you know, to make this connection, but I, I, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. The idea that if you believe in the protocols of the elders of Zion, and unfortunately there are people that do, uh, and that there is, you know, this conspiracy for Jews to, to, to dominate the world and to control the world, and, and uh, you can't have, you can't believe in that while also believing that six million Jews uh, who are supposedly members of this all-powerful group were murdered by Hitler and, and his Nazis. And so therefore, if you, if you believe in this Jewish conspiracy and the protocols of the elders of Zion, then you must deny the Holocaust. So it's, it's very interesting because I've read books that uh, do sort of all of those things at the same time. So, for example, David Icke, the street that will set you free, claims, among other weird stuff, is that the, uh, that the Jews caused the Holocaust and yet were somehow victims of the Holocaust, but they caused it. Maybe there were a few people dead, maybe not, um, that they financed the Holocaust. Um, and very strange things. I mean, it's, it's actually hard to understand what they want to say and what they're trying to push other than somehow the Jews were very evil and they did the whole thing to defraud Germany. I mean, there's a professor, a professor there's a professor, Stephen Salada, who wrote a book that was published by Duke University Press. Um, and he wrote, and I'm going to directly quote him because it, it, this is, again, written at the time he was a professor at the, at the University of Illinois. The Duke University Press is a major press. It's supposed to be vetted by other academics. He wrote, and I quote, because I can't make it up, the Nazi Holocaust in Europe seems a direct antecedent to Israel's founding. There were plans from the outset of Zionism to rid the promised land of its indigenous people. And then he goes on, the problem with the remembrance of the Nazi Holocaust is that it happens in isolation from relevant historical events, and then worse from their ongoing consequences. So he uses all sorts of fancy speak, fancy academic speak, to essentially say that the, um, there was some sort of multi-generational plan 
to rid the to, to, there was a multi-generational plan to make up the Holocaust to to, to, to um, harm the Palestinians and of course to take money from the Germans and of course this is all capitalistic or this or that. I mean these are so unbelievable and you know it's so unbelievable to me and, and so despicable to me that people make this up. As you know Richard for my, my family was on my father's side was just about wiped out on the Holocaust. My father was the only survivor from his family, from his extended family. My closest relative is a second cousin once removed. And yet these sorts of conspiracy theories are weaponized. And that's one commonality that, that happens among many conspiracy theories is they have a political purpose. They have a motivation. And in this case, Academics. I just I've cited in that so far two academics, but many academics are making stuff up about Jews. These are the people who are supposed to help us find and seek truth, and yet what's going on on campus is a corruption of fundamental academic values. Scott, we'll take a quick time out as we approach the bottom of the hour. Come back and uh, discuss further. Scott Shea, leading businessman, thought leader, author of Conspiracy U, a case study. Brian Wilson taking us into the break with In My Room. This one's live from the Ryman Auditorium. Enjoy, right here on Coast to Coast AM. Yeah. officials have asked residents to stay away from emergency rooms if they can because they're being flooded with people who may or may not have COVID. We urge everyone who is either asymptomatic or just searching for a test and really have no symptoms at all to start with a virtual visit to a healthcare provider to not bombard the ER. Deputy Health Officer Dr. Regina Chinsio Kwong says the hospitals are full. Most hospitals have set up so-called search tests to handle all the patients. Chizio Kwong says the problem is even more of a challenge because 20% of staff is either calling in sick because of a positive COVID test or being exposed to COVID. Scientists tracking two local mountain lion populations in the Santa Monica and Santa Ana Mountains say the lions may be inbreeding as they remain cut off from other breeding options by freeways. SoCal weather from KFI, highs in the upper 60s to the low 70s at the beaches, low 70s in Metro LA and OC, mid 60s to low 70s in the Inland Valleys and upper 60s to low 70s in the Inland Empire. We lead local from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Brian Berman. Checking KFI traffic, we do have a crash in Cerrito. So on the 91 eastbound of Bloomfield, a vehicle went over the side of the freeway. In Costa Mesa, road work on the 405 northbound from Bristol to the 73. Carpool and two left lanes coned off until 8 a.m. And through Long Beach on the 91 eastbound from the 710 Cherry, the four right lanes coned off for road work there. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan Weiss. Let me tell you about our life source whole house water filtration system. Uh, Marjorie and I have had it for years. We love it. And you can go to my house, turn on any tap, and you get highly filtered, great-tasting water 
because the system connects directly to your plumbing. It's a whole house system. Filters out chemicals, reduces hard water problems. You eliminate the cost and hassle of buying bottled water if you do. You taste the difference when you drink and cook with life source water. You're effectively getting bottled water quality out of every faucet in your home. You're bathing, you're cleaning, you're cooking with bottled water quality. Your skin and hair will feel different when you shower with life source water. No maintenance of any kind, no filters to change, no salt to add. Once it's been installed, you're done. Life source water. Call 800-334-5009, 800-334-5009, visit lifesourcewater.com, Life Source Water, you can taste and feel the difference. We probably didn't want braces when you were a kid, but now that you're older, you're thinking, I should have gotten braces. Don't worry, Bite makes it easy and affordable to get the straight teeth you've always wanted. Bite offers invisible teeth aligners that you can start at home. Bite aligners are directed by dentists, cost thousands less than braces, and patients see results in as little as two to three weeks. Order your at-home impression kit from BYTE.com and get started today. That's BYTE.com. Be happy, be confident, be you with Bite. Your electric bill keeps going up. The cost of solar has gone way down. It's time to go solar with local veteran-owned Semper Solaris now and get all the benefits. Here's okay. veteran, founder and owner, Kelly Shawhan. In the military, when you give your word, it's just as your word. The more carton, keep your word. That's what we do every single day. I've heard about Semper Solaris and found that they were veterans. I knew they were going to do the job right. Add Tesla's power wall and be ready for blackouts. We get the job done with esprit de corps and honor. <laughs> Semper Solaris offers new heating and air conditioning systems with a lifetime warranty and new roofs with a 50-year warranty. We hire vets and give back to the community with our Semper Cares initiative. Go solar American style with Semper Solaris. Zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2023. Get the federal 26% solar and battery tax credit. Call 877-211-5591 or visit SemperSolaris.com. 26% federal tax credit based on eligibility. Our group credit. Consult your tax advisor. Cannot be combined with any other offers. New customers only. Some restrictions apply. Call or see website for details. Expires 131 2022. CSLB number 978152. iHeartRadio Earth knows small changes make a big difference for the environment. Did you know that keeping your tires even a single PSI lower than recommended means worse mileage and more trips to the pump? So do the environment and your wallet a favor and always check the tire pressure. Brought to you by iHeartRadio Earth and the National Environmental Education Foundation. To find more tips on smarter, sustainable living, or to take action in your own community, go to iHeartRadio.com slash Earth. KFI AM 640. suggested maybe perhaps possibly I could serve this version of get back to the beating. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I think this version could uh could stand a little bit of pressure on the keyboard. That's what's missing. Maybe there really is something uh, to the stories that strange things happen during the full moon. And these studies suggest that all biological organisms from plants to animals to human beings all have a connection to the gravitational forces coming from the sun and moon. Researchers from Brazil and the UK say their work reinforces the historical link between gravitational tides and how they affect the behavior of all life on Earth. The team reviewed past studies and also conducted experiments of their own, examining how both plants and animals set their biological clocks to the movement of more celestial objects. The new study shows that even when organisms don't have life, to judge the kind of their bodies alter their behavior 
according to the you want to check out the iHeart Media and Coast to Coast AM Paranormal Podcast Network. This exciting podcast network features podcasts of the paranormal, supernatural, and the unexplained. UPS. UPS. Tucson. And of the afterlife. And Heidi Hollis's Dark Becomes Light. Every Friday. All right. When we come back, more of our conversation with Scott Shea as we discuss anti-Semitism and the proliferation of anti-Zionism on college campuses, right here on Coast to Coast AM. You've been lied to. Lied to by corrupt Washington politicians and the Wall Street propaganda machine. Hi, I'm Inc. Magazine best-selling author Brett Kitchen, and I want to give you a free copy of my brand new book, Wealth Beyond Wall Street, because we all know another market crash could be right around the corner. After losing 35% in my IRA in the crash years ago, I said enough. Right. Just then I discovered a way to grow money potentially double digits, reduce taxes dramatically, and also have my money protected when the next stock market crash hits. When the next market crash hits, you lose nothing. Call Wealth Beyond Wall Street now to get your free copy and talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to get potential double-digit growth during good years and never lose when the next stock market crash hits, all while building a tax-advantaged retirement. Call 800-908-1616 to discover this asset that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney use to grow wealthy. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling, no credit card required. Call 800-908-1616. That's 800-908-1616. 1-800-908-1616. Exergen would like you to know about an important study just released by the FDA. It confirms what the medical community has known all along. Non-contact thermometers are not accurate. The study also reports that they fail to meet FDA requirements for accuracy and labeling. With new strains of COVID on the rise, we can't afford to tolerate the rampant false temperature readings from non-contact thermometers. Accurate temperature measurements are essential. You need Exergen thermometers because they're accurate and backed by over 100 clinical studies. Be sure. Be accurate with Exergen. Learn more at Exergen.com. Is your current home loan the right fit for you? Your historic low rates may be a great reason to refinance, but when matched with an expertly chosen loan from Loan Depot, you could be saving money and paying more towards the bottom line. Stephen. Call a Loan Depot loan officer and ask about our 27-year smart term loan or our 10-year arm loan. Get a great rate matched with a great loan by calling 866-888-LOAN or visit LoanDepot.com. At Loan Depot, home means everything. Rates are subject to change. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing opportunity. And now license is 174457. Licensed in all 50 states. We are back with Scott A. Shea, Conspiracy U, a case study. Scott, is there a difference between anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism? Not really. Uh, anti-Zionism is just a modern form of anti-Semitism. Um,